Yeah, look, it's obviously uh, a lot quicker and bouncier here in Mumbai than it was in Chennai. Um, look, the practice wickets today have been used a fair bit, so uh, there was a bit there for the bowlers, a fair bit of spin. Um, and it was hard work at times for some of the batsmen, but um, all in all, yeah, a lot more pace in these wickets and a lot more bounce. So good session for the guys to get out there and acclimatise, but um, probably a little bit um, they were a little bit used, so not quite what we'll probably get um, come game time. Yeah, the conditions are certainly a bit different here. Uh, you've seen there's been some high scores scored here as well, so certainly for our batting group it's going to be exciting if we can get going and, and hopefully uh, continue to add to those high totals. It's been a great, great I suppose, welcoming to the group. I uh, felt like I've been right at home since day one and um, uh, the, the coaching staff have been extremely supportive and as well as the playing group, so it's been, it's been great fun so far. Yeah, I don't think we're quite there yet. I, I mean, um, we'll just see how, how Daniel Sams recovers. I mean, he's obviously had COVID. He's only had at one and a half training, so we'll make that call close to the time. But, um, you know, we've always put our players' welfare at, at the forefront. Uh, but certainly, yeah, Kane and, and Zamps are, are fully up to speed now, and they'll, they'll definitely be considered along with Finella. Oh, look, it's always nice to have options, and I think we do have a really well-balanced squad. So um, we're happy with all the options we've got here. And I guess the hardest part is, you know, not everyone's going to play and, and keeping those expectations at bay if uh, players feel like they should be in the 11. But look, at the moment, a lot of the guys are getting the job done for us, um, playing really strongly. Some guys haven't had that much opportunity and um, there's other guys that have obviously spent a lot of time out in the middle or, or done a big job for us with the ball. So um, we've just got to try and figure out what's the best option for Rajasthan, how they're going to pro probably match up and then adjust it to the conditions here. So it might be slightly different to, to Chennai, it might be the same because uh, it is hard to change a, a winning formula. Yeah, they're dangerous. I mean, I think you know any any side that's got um, you know the likes of Josh Butler, um, David Miller. Chris Morris, you know, there's a lot of a lot of talent in that group. Mustafa Zur, you know, if there's on a surface that grips a little bit, he's as good as there is going around. So, um, and you know, Sandra Sampson on his days, phenomenal. And there's a lot of talent spread throughout that group. You know, Tavati is a, a guy who, if you you don't get it right, he can take the game away from you as well. So, look, we know that we have to play well. And to be fair, our focus the whole way along is about us. Um, we will certainly look at our opposition, but we'll just look to turn up and do what we do best. Yeah, I think everyone knows that in this competition, it's so even. Anyone on any given night can beat anyone. So if you're not on your game, you'll get beaten. We're aware of that. I think all the teams are aware of that. So you know that you have to come and play your best cricket. Otherwise, there's so many class players in this tournament, be it international or be it local players. Uh, we know that Rajasthan have got a lot of match winners in their team. So regardless of you know, some of their big name players that are out, They've still got a number of guys that are capable of winning a cricket game in T20 and uh, we're mindful of that and we know that we, uh, we've got to keep playing really good cricket. A big part of, of the start of the group is it's got it's some real role clarity around everybody, so support staff and players. From a playing point of view, you know everyone's taking ownership over um, the team and what they can do to help, you know whether they're on the field or not. Um, so yeah, there's a number of different players contributing. Um, that often those little small things that no one really notices, you know the, the small roles around you know, taking ownership in the field, you know those are very important in terms of the, the whole scheme of things. Yeah, I think it's just about trying to take a, a, one of the responsibilities off your shoulders. He's got a lot of a lot of things to do out there to sort of be able to control uh, the right fielders in the right positions and make sure that's just one thing he doesn't have to think about. So it's just about giving him a bit more freedom out on the ground to worry about just what the bowlers are doing and, and know that everything else is taken care of. Yeah, look, it certainly helps. Um, a lot of the coaches have worked with the players now for this is the second season on the trot. So they're getting an understanding of all the players and what their capabilities are. And we've tried to match the players to the right roles and. Um, hopefully communicate that as clearly as possible. But I think a lot of it comes down to the players have executed um, their skills and they deserve a lot of credit for their thought that they've put into it um, and the planning that goes into it and also um, the skipper on game day. Virat's been really clear in what he wants um, and I think it's just been a lot of clarity from um, you know the, the players in particular when the pressures come around and they deserve a lot of credit for that.
I think as a group we know that we we can still play better. Um, but we've been like you know we've been fortunate because we've had some superb individual performances, which obviously makes a big difference in this format of the game. But but we've got a lot of match winners in our squad. Um, obviously, not all of them have to stand up in the same game. So uh, I think you know some of the batting group will be delighted to to arrive here with a little bit more batsman friendly uh, facilities or facilities that they're more used to, um, and that'll give them an opportunity to shine as well. Yeah, look, I think we've been pretty uh, level right the way throughout, um, even last season. You know, whether we win or lose. I think we're pretty consistent in the way we approach things. So, um, you know, we treat it as an opportunity to learn whether it's good or bad. You know, if we've had a bad night, that can happen in T20. We've tried to use those learnings to put it into practice the next time around. And vice versa, when we've won, um, we haven't got carried away with things. We know that, you know, to be at your best in this tournament, you've got to be consistent all the way through and you've got to play your best at the end. So, you know, to get there, you've still got to do a lot of hard work early and um, you can't just keep leaving it to the next game. So that's what I've loved about um, the process so far is the boys have been hungry to keep building on win after win and um, hopefully that won't change on Thursday. Yeah, it's good to get back out, good to join the guys. Um, had a bowl be uh, before the last game, quite hot, so that was interesting, but a couple more training sessions and I'll probably be, be at my best. Just a little bit of rust today, but that's what I was expecting after, unfortunately, the two weeks in quarantine. Um, but yeah, definitely nice nice weather here. Obviously sweaty, but no one here has got a channel. It's a great environment. Um, Feels like family, even though I only just joined in the last few days. But over the two weeks, everyone was really good, uh, sending me messages and yeah, got part of it straight away. So that was great. Really appreciate that.